Here we have a past exam question, which is taken from the AS Maths Paper 1, so the pure paper from uh, 2018. Uh, it's a trigonometry question with two parts. Um, it falls under the topic area of non-right angle triangles. Even though we use a little bit of identities in part A, the cosine rule is in part B. So this is a non-right angle triangles question. So we are told that in a triangle ABC, side AB has length 10, side AC has length 5 in centimetres, and angle BAC is theta, where theta is measured in degrees, and the area of the triangle is 15 square centimetres. So in part A, we're asked to find the two possible values of cos theta. So part A, let's begin by sketching this triangle. So I'm going to give it a rough... Something like this, rough sketch. So if I call this A, this B, and this C, um, and then let's label it the other way because that's about five. Let's call this, um, so that's A to B. So let's put A there, B there. Uh, A to C, five centimeters. And angle B, A, C, which is this one, is theta. And the area of this is, 15 square centimetres. So we know that the area is given by a half AB sine C in your original um, triangle. So in, what, normally what we would do is we'd have a triangle that looks a bit like this. We'd label the sides A, B and C. This would be capital C and the area of this would be a half AB sine C. So what, let's translate this into um, our letters that we've got, our capital letters that we're using above. So a half AB sine C would be half times AC times AB times sine theta. So let's get rid of this so we're not confusing our A's, B's and C's. Okay, so AC is 5, AB is 10. And sine theta is going to stay as it is. So this is 25 sine theta. And we're told that this is equal to 15. The area is 15. So this gives us an expression for sine theta. Sine theta is 15 over 25, which simplifies to 3 fifths. Now, we are asked to find the two possible values of cosine theta. Okay, so we've got sine theta, we want cosine theta. Now the relationship between sine theta and cosine theta is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. Now I know sine theta is 3 fifths, so I can square my 3 fifths, add in my cosine squared theta to get 1. 3 fifths is 9 over 25, sorry, 3 fifths squared is 9 over 25. And so I can subtract 9 25 from both sides, bearing in mind 1 is 25 25, leaving me with 16 25. So let's do a side note here. 1 minus 9 25 is 25 25 minus 9 25, which is 16 25. Okay, so that's cos squared, 16 25. If I want cos theta, I need to square root both sides, and I get two answers when I do that, the, the positive and negative. And that's plus or minus four fifths. Positive four fifths, minus four fifths, those are my two possible values for cos theta. So that's part A complete. Okay, given that BC is the longest side of the triangle, which is quite accurate from our diagram, find the exact length of BC. So now I'm going to use the cosine rule. So the cosine rule in original format is c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. But I'm going to write it in terms of um, my letters. So the cosine rule would then be bc squared equals ab squared plus AC squared 
minus 2 times AB times AC times the cosine of theta. Okay. So this is going to tell me what BC is. So what was AB? AB was 10 and AC was 5. So this says 10 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 10 times 5 times my cosine theta, which I've found in part A to be plus or minus 4 fifths. So I'm going to put plus or minus 4 fifths there. So when I plug this through, 10 squared is 100, 5 squared is 25. This is 125. And I'm subtracting... 2 times 10 times 5 times a positive 4 fifths, or subtracting 2, 10, 2 times 10 times 5 times a negative 4 fifths. Either way, if you do 2 times 10 times 5 times 4 fifths, it's 80. So you're either subtracting 80 or adding 80. So that um, is the other way up because minus a positive makes a minus, minus a minus makes a plus. Okay, so the answer to this is either... 45 or 205. BC squared is 45 or 205. Now, if you square root these, BC um, will be the longest side if you choose uh, BC squared to be 205. So because BC is the longest side, um, it has to be the square root of 205. And 205 doesn't have any square factors, so this doesn't simplify. And we're asked for the exact length of BC, so we're not going to change this into a decimal. And that completes the question. So check out studywell.com for more on trigonometry.